Hey, it's Biddy Penny. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing my Harry Potter inspired card. I'm using this one die set from Sizzix. This is Tim Holtz, a new Tim Holtz release for Halloween. I kind of went crazy <laughs> with Tim Holtz release this year. Uh, there were just so many things I wanted to play with and I wanted to add to my collection. And so this is just one of them. And um, I had this in my box of goodies yet to play with. And I just looked at it and thought, Harry Potter. <laughs> so I am using my watercolors to color up all these die cuts. I just cut them out of white because honestly, especially with items this small, I wouldn't want to cut them out of all different colors of cardstock because that just seems really fussy for me where I could just go in and paint them whatever colors I want them to be. Plus, I wanted to do a lot with like granulation uh, because it was like potions and that crystal ball and things like that. So now I'm going to go in with some Distress inks, both regular Distress ink and Distress Oxides and kind of create a little magical background. So in case you guys missed it yesterday, my son and I made Harry Potter inspired cards. His was on my channel yesterday. I think he knocked it straight out of the park. I was so impressed with him. If you haven't seen that, please go watch his video. Give him a like. You know, it means a lot to the little guys um, to see that thumbs up. And if you want to leave him a comment or if you want to leave any feedback because you did see that video, we would love to read it down in the comments below. I did have to mark that one um, for kids because he was in it. He's only 11. And I wanted to make sure that I was in compliance and, you know, mama bear is protective. So there's uh, my info about that. Once this background was dry from my smushing, then I went in with the vintage photo because I really wanted to age it and make it very uh, Harry Potter dreamy background. And I really love this background. I just think it's extremely magical and it all happened with just a few inks so um, I had a ton of fun creating this card it is kind of kicking off what I hope to be a little series um, on my channel where I'm going to be pulling inspiration from film music and artist so different artistic styles um, I think that it would just be such a fun way to be inspired and in my card making. And so I hope you guys enjoy the series. Um, I'm going to try to make a no dies, no problem for this week. It's been a week or two. I guess it's been about two weeks since I've had that done for y'all. Whoo! World card making weekend was a busy one for this girl. How about for you guys? So it was on craft roulette on Friday I also had a few design team things line up all at the same time over the weekend and whew, it was a lot, but I thank you guys for watching and supporting me and encouraging me. And I hope what I always hope for is that when you watch my channel, you leave inspired. Um, that's, that's my hope for you. Um, anytime you visit my channel, that the time you've spent here helped fuel some inspiration, um, that it offered you an escape, <laughs> if that's what you need, because I've been there, and um, just that it gives you a bit of joy in your day. All right, so I took this scrap piece of brown paper, and I just used my alcohol markers and kind of created a wood tabletop so that I would have a place for a landing place for all of these goodies. Now I loved this crystal ball red. I liked it green. It was kind of hard to cover up the red, um, but I did and I added the green and then I just 
set to assembling these pieces. Now, one thing I'm really happy about with Sizzix and Tim Holtz is they, they started grouping their dies. Um, if you go back to the very beginning of the video, you'll notice that like all these pieces for the candles were together in one die. So you know which pieces go together. As you can tell, I lumped mine in a big old pile. So I kind of had to sort through it. And it was about here that I realized like, oh, okay, these candles are supposed to go on here before the wax at the bottom. <laughs> it was kind of difficult, but I was able to get that wax off and then um, put my candles on. And definitely if I had had my foam tape out, that would be so much fun. Probably the next time I play with these, I'll definitely pop up this layer instead of gluing it down because it'll make it even more dimensional and more fun. But I really, really like these. Now these are pretty small images um, or pretty small die cuts, but it's exactly what I needed to build a scene. I was basically able to use everything that was featured in the set to create this little magical wizard kind of scene. There are those candles all put together. And I'm not going to put everything together here for you guys. Just a few couple little things. I wanted these to be like the flying keys. And um, the center of the key that cut out. I kept those little pieces. And I actually ended up using those as the wings for the back of the keys. So that's... Not really how that was intended to be used, but it's just how I used it. Um, so that was really fun. Uh, in case you're wanting to recreate it, that's how I did those. All right, so now I have everything put together and I'm going to start building my scene out. Now this was a scrap piece, and so it wasn't quite straight, but I made it work. This book is really cool. I don't know if I adhered those pages correctly in it or not, but I adhered them the way I wanted them to be. <laughs> I think that's what you're supposed to do in card making is make things the way you want them to be. <laughs> okay, I did use a white gel pen and I kind of drew um, lines in on that crystal ball or veins for the crystal ball. And then I decided this desk is going to be extremely crowded if I try to put all this stuff on it. So those potion bottles that are in the top left are not going to be floating there the whole time. Although in this room that could totally work. Um, I will build a little mantle for them to sit on. But in this room, flying keys, flying potion bottles, whatever. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> so now I'm going to add in just a few more details here. And I wanted to use those and I ended up using those on the inside of the card, which I didn't make or decorate the inside of the card with you here in this video today, but you will see it at the end of the video. So now I'm just kind of gluing everything down here. I liked that um, like slime green or neon green, like, I don't know what it is. Uh, like mystical fog coming out of the book. <laughs> I thought that was fun. So that's where I put that. Um, and then a quill down at the bottom. All kinds of goodies. This was certainly a fun, fun set to have. And I love these stars. Like, you know, the keys, the stars, um, the candles, even that embossed crystal ball, like I could see myself using these in other ways rather than just like Halloween or like a mystical card or magical card, whatever you want to call it. Like um, even the bottles I think could be really cute, like perfume bottles. It just, it's all in like your color combinations and how you present it, right? But I think those could work as perfume bottles and not just potion bottles. 
so many options when we get really creative. I'm just coloring in some cork here. Um, I don't think those came with cork pieces. I know there was one and I put it on this bottle right here. But I think others you just color them up and then that green bottle had a cork topper for it too. I liked all the labels, that, the teeny tiny labels that came with these. Just a really neat die set, I think. So, um, I have a few ideas about other cards I want to make in this series. So I'll definitely be mixing things up and can't wait to share them with you guys. So I just took a vintage photo and as you can see, ink smushed it all over this background. Um, so the card that we just completed, the card front, that's an A2. I, this is a five by seven card front here. And so the one that I did, just the vintage photo ink smushing on. And I really like this lately. I like playing with this lately. In fact, I did this on Craft Roulette on Friday. I designed an A2 card, but then I basically put it on a five by seven. And you guys have seen me potentially uh, do this in a couple of my other videos last week. One for the Not Too Shabby Shop with my fall pumpkin spice. And then again, when I was playing with my scraps. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm really enjoying this style of card right now. <laughs> and that's okay. If you guys find something you really like, don't feel like you have to just like keep changing it up just because you've left your card table and come back to it like you you don't have to do something different I think it's actually quite refreshing to keep exploring the same kind of design like I'm doing here like keep playing with it keep seeing how many ways you can change it up <laughs> all right so this is my final card and here is how I decorated the inside again just kind of putting in some shelves for those couple of leftover bottles and I put you are magical which is from a um, scrappy tales set I just love that mica on it all the detail I really love the way this card turned out and I'm so proud of my son and his Harry Potter card I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye